Many great content producers have emerged from BuzzFeed, with Quinta Brunson, Abbott Elementary's creator, probably the most renowned. The Try Guys, though, might come in second place behind Brunson. Keith Habersberger, Ned Fulmer, Zach Kornfield, and Eugene Lee Yang made up the group, and their whole premise was to make videos in which they tried, well, pretty much anything. High diving, eating a restaurant's entire menu, different cooking challenges, wearing nail extensions or corsets, and so much more. Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, we'll be talking all about how the Try Guys kicked Ned Fulmer out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Try Guys gained even more notoriety when Fulmer was charged with having an affair with his wife on September 25th. The gang abruptly and hastily expelled him. Fulmer was also dropped from brand new videos, the merchandise campaign, and no recipe road trip with the Try Guys segments on the Food Network. Many fans interpreted the group's silence as a hint that something was wrong when the expose first surfaced as rumors in a well-read Reddit thread. Fulmer's expulsion from the organization happened when another alleged cheating issue received much attention online. Late in September, an Instagram model by the name of Summer Stroh made the allegation that she'd been sleeping with Adam Levine, the main vocalist of the band Maroon 5. He denied having an affair but admitted that he had acted irresponsibly by flirting with anyone other than his wife. Ime Udoka, the Celtics coach and future husband of actress Mia Long, was later found to have had an improper intimate and consensual relationship with a co-worker. The Try Guys addressed Fulmer's actions and what was coming up for the business in a video released on October 3rd following many rumors and speculation. The Try Guys started producing films for BuzzFeed in 2014 and were all company employees. Over 103 million people watched more than 100 videos they posted there while they were working. They split up in June 2018 to launch their channel and establish their own production company. Since then, they've gathered a loyal following and close to 8 million followers. Each has a unique, endearing personality, but Fulmer stands out the most. He was the group member known as the Wife Guy, whose entire character revolved around how much he cherished his wife. This aspect was evident in numerous films, beginning with a channel introduction video. When Fulmer was conspicuously absent from recent videos uploaded to the YouTube channel, fans realized something was wrong. The intros to the videos often feature all of four members, but Fulmer stopped appearing in them as of September 14th. Try Guys announced on their social media platforms on September 27th that Fulmer was no longer a member of the comedy troupe. Ned is no longer working with the Try Guys, the post said. As a result of a thorough internal review, we do not see a path forward together. We thank you for your support as we navigate this change. In a message shared to his social media accounts that same day, Fulmer explained that he had lost focus and had a consensual workplace relationship. He expressed regret for any hurt he may have caused and promised to put his marriage and his kids first. Ariel also posted a message on Instagram thanking everyone who has gotten in touch with her. Nothing is more important to me and Ned than our family, and all we request right now is that you respect our privacy for the sake of our kids. The group's surviving members posted a sincere What Happened video to their YouTube profile on October 3rd. The painful and disappointing reflection of their difficult decision to fire their friend from the business they co-founded in the video appeared to be coming from a genuine place. Many people observed that Yang appeared to be fuming. As they alternated between presenting the statement to their staff and supporters, his face said it all. They acknowledged that they were unaware of the working relationship before starting an internal review over the Labor Day weekend after learning of Fulmer's activities from an employee. It's hard to rewatch old videos that we love and are proud of. We're losing a friend, Hornfeld said. We're losing someone we built a company with. We have countless memories with. The men also claimed that Fulmer was purposefully removed from their most recent movies and that they could not release several videos due to Fulmer's involvement, which would cost them money. Still, they wished to send a strong message instead. TikTok users might have understood Yang's facial expressions and tone of voice better throughout the video if they had remembered that he and Ariel had been close friends for a long time. This is something we took very seriously, Yang said in the video. We refuse to sweep things under the rug. That is not who we are, and that is not what we stand for. Given the characters the Try Guys had developed over time, it was unexpected that a drama like this would emerge from this group, especially from someone who had repeatedly and very openly professed his love for his wife. 
Many people believed Fulmer had betrayed them and compared his alleged actions to those of other wife guys like Levine and comedian John Mulaney, whose loyalty to his ex-wife was questioned by fans once he started dating Olivia Munn. Adam Levine, John Mulaney, and now Ned Fulmer from Try Guys making the unholy trinity of saltines who make their brand about loving their wife and still cheat. One tweeted, Fulmer, however, faced a unique set of circumstances since, as some have noted, his working relationship with a younger employee of the company in which he had a stake naturally involved a power disparity. Many fans were curious about Yang's thoughts on the incident after seeing his expression in the statement video. I think that Eugene Lee Yang should be given legal clearance to say absolutely whatever he wants about Ned Fulmer. Habersberger stated that the men are concentrating on producing the greatest material from this point until the end of the year after the statement video. Following that, they'll consider the channel's overall future more. In their final statement, they expressed excitement about introducing you to the next phase of the Try Guys Ahead. Ned and Ariel were photographed together the day after it was revealed that Fulmer would be quitting the Try Guys, and they admitted to the photographers that they were working on figuring things out. In a video statement, the comedy group Try Guys discussed its recent decision to sever connections with ex-member Ned Fulmer, who acknowledged having a consensual, professional affair and being the focus of an internal probe. In the video What Happened, Zach Kornfeld, Keith Habersberger, and Eugene Lee Yang discuss the history of Fulmer's departure from the organization and how the group will continue to change its material to address the matter. The trio revealed that as soon as an inquiry into Fulmer's behavior began, they started seeking to get him taken out of the new tapes. We immediately removed Ned from work activities and engaged an HR professional to conduct a thorough review of the facts. We also opted to remove Ned from our releases, pending results of that review, Hornfeld stated. That included removing his section from videos, digitally removing him from others, and choosing not to feature him in our merch throws. Honestly, I want to give major props to our editing staff for how deftly they've handled that. While the group was able to reduce Fulmer's visibility in some work, Kornfeld also revealed that the business finally decided to shelve some videos where the former member was a more significant character. There are several videos that we've deemed as fully unreasonable, Kornfeld continued. You will never see them, and that is due to his involvement. That's a decision that cost us lots of money. We will not be able to recoup that money, but it's a decision we stand by proudly. According to Habesberger, the group is still collaborating with their editing crew to cut Fulmer out of already filmed versions of their upcoming films. Due to corporate obligations that predate his departure, he further explained that certain sponsored pieces might continue to feature Fulmer. The group revealed that on September 16th, they all consented to Fulmer's termination as a management and employee of the business. The group took its time before making a declaration, according to Habersberger, since there are actual people that have been harmed and there is a family at the center of the controversy. Yang continued by stating that after a rapidly rising public speculation, the organization realized a public declaration was required. Before the Try Guys released their initial statement confirming Fulmer's resignation from the band, online followers started to spread rumors about the comedian's diminished appearance in recent videos. We are obviously incredibly shocked and deeply hurt by all of this. This is someone who we built a brand and a company with for eight years, Yang stated. We feel saddened, not just personally, but on behalf of our staff and our fans who believed in us. I don't know that we'll ever be able to fully articulate the pain we feel at this moment, Kornfeld said. It's hard to rewatch old videos that we love and we are proud of. We are losing a friend. Before departing BuzzFeed in 2018 to start their production firm, Second Try, the Try Guys debuted at BuzzFeed. The group presently has 7.9 million subscribers on YouTube, and in August, they debuted their Food Network program, No Recipe Road Trip with the Try Guys. That's all for this video. We'll be back soon with another informative one. Don't forget to like and share. Until next time.